begin deploying your tra stock trading bot to the cloud, you will have to have a DigitalOcean account with a new project created. You will need to have your own Docker Hub account. Uh, and you will also need to have Docker Desktop installed. The reason why we have uh, uh, Docker is to kind of compartmentalize all of our code and dependencies and any other files into one little container. And we need a uh, digital ocean so we can run it on a, another operating system that isn't our own uh, computer. So that being said, uh, the first changes that I made with the bot, it can be seen right here. This is just an infinite loop that will keep running our code uh, once the market opens at 6.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And it will execute once every hour. The other changes that I made is the creation of this Docker file. Uh, this is mainly used in building our image. Uh, we first start off with declaring our syntax and using our uh, Python 3.8 image and Ubuntu image as a base, establishing our working directory, copying all the files in our current directory, uh, well, copying our requirements, installing all those requirements, and finally running uh, our main uh, script, python.main.py. That being said, uh, let's start with building our image. So docker build dash t trading bot image. So what this is doing, we're just building our image based off of these docker commands. So we'll do docker images and looks like it was just made about five minutes ago, so that's good. Now let's, um, what we need to do now is we need to create a repository on our Docker Hub account. So create repo, trading, bot repo, just give it a name, let make it private, and then hit create. Now that we have our trading bot repo made with our username there, we will have to log in. So docker login dash u. You're going to want to type in your username and then our password. Use the login. Login succeeded. So now that that works, we are going to, uh, we want to tag our uh, Docker image. So as you can see, we want to get the image ID. So we'll do Docker tag image ID. and just copy and paste that in. Once that is tagged, we'll do the name of where we want to send it to. So trading bot repo. So we should have a brand new image being made. So that seems to work. And once that is done, we will do a Docker push we'll do the name of our Docker image that we just created. And then we will, uh, so that is done, Docker push with the tag latest. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Go. So what you're seeing here are the layers that are created from our Docker file. Uh, well, they're, all, they're already cr created right now. They're just being pushed. Uh, so every single one of these layers corresponds to a command here in this Docker file. So this is going to take a few minutes. Depending on your internet, it might take less. Let's say it's just about done now. So. In order to, to check, you would go back to your Docker Hub account and check your repo. And 
we have the same tag as our operating system. And notice how we have the OS Linux installed. This is very important because later on when we deploy our code, we're going to be using a uh, Docker, a Linux image. So if you have a Windows, uh, Windows container, it's not going to be able to run on a Linux uh, OS. So if you're like me and you're using Windows 10, you're going to want to go down here and check this this icon with the Docker desktop and then right click. You should see an option that says switch to Linux containers if you are on Windows. Uh, right now I'm already switched to Linux containers. So that's why it says switch to Windows. So it's, it's very important that, that you do this before you push your Docker image to your Docker Hub repo and make sure you switch it to Linux. All right, once that is done, we will need to create our droplet on DigitalOcean. So we will get started with a droplet. We're gonna to wanna to go to Marketplace and Docker Ubuntu is what we want. We already want Docker installed to keep things easy. Uh, just keep it as defaults. And the password. Make sure it's a good password. You don't want people logging into your droplet who you don't know. This will be uh, trading. That will be the host name. So we'll just get started with creating our droplet should take a few minutes depending on your internet I'll, I might just cut off we have the trading bot host uh, created we will copy the IP address and then we will uh, go back here and then we are going to SSH into the instance that we just created uh, what SSH means is that we will uh, basically it's a way of logging in with uh, certain security uh, protocols. So that's what we're basically doing here. Just say yes to this prompt. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna type in the password that you just created to your droplet. All right, and then if you got all of these, um, all of these, all this text here with the, with the droplet, and then hopefully you also have Docker installed too. Then that means that this is working. So what you're going to want to do is clear, and then we're going to check our Docker images. You notice that we don't have any Docker images yet. So what we need to do is we need to pull these Docker images from our Docker Hub account and run it. So we will do Docker login u. Just the same thing we did when we pushed our code. So our Docker image. So now that that is done, we will need to do Docker pull. So you just type in Docker pull and then the name of your repo with the same tag as well. when I type it in actually this doesn't seem to be working at the moment all right so what you see here is very similar to when we push our uh, code to docker hub we have our layers and we're and we're extracting them and pulling them instead of just pushing them up to the repo. So this should, should take a few minutes to complete. And once that is done, we can check our images and we will run it. All right, so now we're good. Uh, let's check our images.
So we have our brand new image just created 12 minutes ago, so we're good. And now we will do, uh, we'll have to run this. So docker run. All right, so this should be working. Let's check our uh, alpaca. Should take a few minutes to run. Let's reload that. All right, so we just have a bunch of orders executed. Uh, the time right now is it's about mid, mid afternoon on a Sunday, so that's why we haven't seen any changes in our graph yet. Uh, <clears throat> The, the orders have been accepted, but none have been executed because we're off of market hours. So ideally, we will just hit, uh, well, we would just close out this terminal and we would just let this thing run while, while we go about our day. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.